is a video on how I handmade an Adirondack chair made with a 100% fiber reinforced cement mix. I will now detail the process in making the chair. I hope that you enjoy this video and if you do, please like it, share it, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. All right, I got this one all screeded. I'm just letting the bleed water come to the surface and once it dries out a little bit, I'll trial it with that finishing trial. I also have these two cast and you can see the bleed water that's still rising up. I've trialed it twice already. I'm just gonna let it sit for a bit, trial it real smooth and then tomorrow we will take them apart and start cutting our pieces. All right, at this point, I've got all the pieces cut out for two chairs. On the left is one chair, on the right is the other chair. Each of the pieces has been sanded and patched, and now I'm ready for the assembly. Got all the pieces uh, painted, started with the white, went to the yellow, and then the blue, and I sanded in between all colors. Now this is all sanded and ready to be sealed, using a 100% acrylic sealer carried in a xylene-based solvent, but uh, right now she's pretty good looking. Got everything sanded and blown off, just about to wash it and then let it dry, and then I'm going to spray the sealer on it and uh, start assembling the chair. So this is the first piece, the first three pieces I put together and I've glued it with this Gorilla Glue and it's, uh, it's pretty formidable. It says it dries in two hours. I've got two hours in it now, but I don't want to move it. I still got to put the, uh, the armrest on here and I don't want to jack this straight line, uh, you know, the, the actual form of it until tomorrow. So I'll let that dry and then tomorrow when I handle it, it won't move at all. So I've got a jig that I'm using that gives me an alignment. I just take my small bit to start out with, just to give me kind of a hole. I, when I drilled the template through the steel, I used the small bit, so just give it a little hole. I already got the holes drilled. Burning tires in a stolen car. I fucked up so bad outside the bar. Heading out as far away I can. Heart is pounding, got some damn out of him. Doing 90 through the city night. Nothing's ever gonna be alright. Life will never be what it was. Hands are shaking. Cause now my future.
All right, so we got this section done now. So I've got this uh, brace on and the stringers on. So this is five pieces that make the first part of the chair. This is the right side of the chair. I got the uh, sides glued up. Just working on this now. Can I touch it? Um, just don't move these three. These these are all screwed and glued. I gotta rub it down yet. This is actually the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Oh yeah? It's unbelievable. Huh. This paint job is unbelievable. Oh yeah? Unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. It's the most beautiful thing I've seen. Hmm. I hope I get these chairs. Why wouldn't you? I cannot wait. Why wouldn't you get them? I thought I'd give you a perspective from back here. As I said, I have this, the back slat assembly, sitting on some blocks, and it's perfectly where it wants to be. I just need to put two screws on each side. The issue right now is where to set this, and I've gotten this figured out to where it goes right about here, and I marked it on the back side, and that's about where it goes. And I could put two screws in here and then screw the back. My thinking is, is to take this off. I've already made a reference mark here. Drill it in from the front and then set it back on the block. And at that point, this will be fixed. And I'll just have two screws here, two screws on the base. And then again, two and two, and I'll be done. So that's how I figured out how to put this on. The instructions say to put this on, but I don't want to have the angle be off and wrong. So I'm just going to mount it to this straight away. Okay, so I've got all these holes drilled and countersunk.
Well, with that last screw, I'm done. Just got to basically look for uh, any scratches or dings or whatever. Touch them up with a little bit of paint, sand them down, and then I'm going to seal coat it one more time and steel wool it. Okay, one little last step here that I have planned is on the bottom of the legs because I'm setting this on a wood deck and I don't want the chair to scratch the deck nor do I want to chip the edge of the feet of the legs. I've sanded them to where they had a bevel on the end but still I thought I would get a piece of plastic lumber and I basically cut it in half slicing it. This is just wood lumber and then I cut it just to where each one of these legs are going to have a plastic um, foot and I'll drill them in and glue them but I'm gonna profile these to where they have a little bit of taper just to make them really slide well on the deck okay so I can grind these safely I was thinking about taking the grinder and trying to hold this and that ain't gonna work so what I'm gonna do is just mount them to a board that I can hold better A good little foot there nicely tapered and uh, less surface area for it to touch just got to do three more I'll be back with you Let that dry and it'll be as good as gold. Again, this is going to be the wear surface and it'll slide because it's plastic and this won't get chipped and my deck won't get screwed up because of the, the scuffing of the cement. Three more to do. Alright, that's all four legs with feet on them now. And uh, just let that dry and uh, we'll be installing it on the deck tomorrow. Well, that concludes my video on the Adiron deck chair. I hope you liked it. If you did, please like and share my video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Keep in mind, I'm going to be adding another video where I mold this chair and make castings from it. Thanks. Have a great day.